attention. God told us that the year 2022 is our year of what? Expansion. We are not supposed to stagnate and we are not supposed to retrogress. We are expected to what? Expand. Agbodokpo, jubailo. Agbodofe, jubailo. Agbodoga, jubailo. Don't remain where you are uh, so that uh, you will not waste the opportunity that God is creating for, 20, uh, for you in 2022. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Now, and this morning, uh, on that gateway uh, to expansion, to your expansion, we are looking at, as children of God, how to conquer uh, uh, what I call demonic intimidation. We took the first part in the first service. You know, when the devil wants to limit people from fulfilling the purpose of God for their life, he intimidates them, you know, and make them to remain on a spot. In the first service, I talked about five things that the devil uses intimidation to achieve. Now, and I gave the proper definition for int intimidation. Please open the, the scripture, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. To intimidate a person is to make a person to be fearful. You do the things and say the things that will make a person to live in fear instead of living in faith. That's what it means to intimidate. Hallelujah. And I told them five things that the devil hopes to use intimidation to achieve. Number one, I said it could create an uh, uh, inner urge in order to want to prove a point when it is not necessary. You know, at times when the devil raises uh, intimidation, intimidating voice, you want to show them that you have something. And out of showing them, you might enter into depth. Out of wanting to show them, you might go out of the will of God. Now, if you want to understand the message properly, listen to the full package online or if you are on God's power platform. Let's take First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Let's all be on our feet. In this service, we are looking at the devil's strategy to intimidate you. That which means we are looking at what he does or what he, you know, he usually do whenever he wants to intimidate a child of God. Whenever he wants to make a child of God to live in fear. See after me, I refuse to live in fear. I begin to live in faith. I walk by faith. I talk by faith. Act by faith. And I get results by faith. From today in the name of Jesus. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. If you are dead, let's read together. After the count of Hallelujah. Those of you online, I mean, uh, the media, we want the scripture online. First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Let's go together after the count of three. One, two, and let's go. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Now, one version is saying walking around. What version is that? King James Version. This one is New King James. Walk it about. Can we have the, the NIV Version? Please put it on screen. Let's read together before we sit down again. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. One, two, let's go now. Be self-controlled and be alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Be seated in his presence. The Lord will give us revelation and understanding in the name of Jesus. Say amen to that. That amen is so crippled now. Give a believing amen. Now, looking at this scripture clearly, now I want you to pick that word, roaring. You know how a lion roars. The sound of a lion is different from that of a goat and that of a pig. Now, when the lion makes, when the lion roars, you see that every animal will keep running. The, the lion does not roar except it wants to attack. The lion does it to create fear in the in its target. Now, and the Bible says the enemy goes about making noise, making noise, making noise. You know, the noise the enemy is always making most times is to make you and I, children of God, to be afraid. Now, I told them in the first service there are five things that 
the devil uses fear to do to us. Now, and one of them I told us, it makes us so afraid that if care is not taken, we'll be afraid of taking new steps. Now, and do you know that a person can be locked up inside himself? God will be speaking to him, move on, move forward, go towards this direction, but out of fear, that person will just still stay stagnant. Let's look at how we are going to look at the roaring of the enemy. How the enemy hopes to keep you afraid. That's why you must understand. If you, if you will enjoy expansion this year, you must be a faith-based Christian. Are you hearing me? A Christian that does not walk by sight, but walks by faith. At times, things may not look right, and God will say, step out. And, you know, if you don't have faith, you won't want to step out. You will still be waiting for things to look right. And, you know, just like the prophecy that the prophet Elisha prophesied, Towards those kings. He said, though you don't see the cloud. Though you won't see the rain. The valley shall be filled with water. The question will be, where will the water come from? But according to the prophet, they moved. And by the time they got there, the earth was full of water. So let's look at the strategy of the enemy to keep us in fear. Let's look at it. That's why he roars. I will tell you four, if time permits us this morning. So afternoon. Number one. He usually presents a well-dressed Goliath to stand in front of us. I come again. He usually presents a well-dressed Goliath. Now, that's one of the things you must pay attention to. He usually presents a well-dressed Goliath. Now, anytime God gives you a vision, anytime God tells you to do something, now, for you not to do it, you know what the devil will do? He will present in front of you a well-dressed Goliath. Now, you can't understand it if you don't understand what happened in 1 Samuel 17. Now, can we go to 1 Samuel chapter 17? Uh, those are the media. Start picking it for me from where uh, uh, they, they describe Goliath. Now, once you get it, put it on screen. Now, a well-dressed Goliath is like a, 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 an impossible case. Anytime the devil wants to make you afraid... He will so much magnify your challenges to look as if, ah, son, daughter, you can't do anything. You can't achieve it. The devil wants us to live in the realm of impossibility. But that's not the plan of God for your life. Now, if you have it, let's, let's see it. That's what the devil wants. So he magnifies the problem. N nobody ever believed in the army of Israel among them. Nobody ever believed that that man that appears so big will only fall at a stone throw. Let's look at it. A champion named Goliath who was from Gath came out of the Philistine camp. He was over nine feet tall. Now look at how the devil presents problem. He was over nine feet tall. Hey, They didn't get the accurate height, but they just said over nine feet. Somebody must have exaggerated it, you know. Ah, over. But boy, hey, gagon. In fact, oh, got you nine feet, Lord. Anytime the devil shows you a big problem, you know what he wants to do? He wants to create fear in your heart. Now, that's why we keep telling us that if you have fear in your heart, you can't do exploit. If you not fear, you cannot, you cannot expand. Hallelujah. Now, let's read on. If you not fear, you cannot expand. Listen, the Bible now said he had a bronze hel helmet. That is a cap upon his head. And uh, on his head. And wore a coat of scale armor of bronze. Weighing 5,000 shekel. The question will be who weighed? it? be a short Goliath to be solely scale. Tofi Mokuma worth 5,000 shekel in, 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 uh, in KG. They must have been looking at it and something will be saying, ah, omo eh, wo a short over long run. Ah, in fact, five, uh, 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 oh, there to 5,000 KG. Oh. Look at that. Look at the weight of his, of his clothes. The devil was working on their mind. This year, don't give the devil the room to walk on your mind. Every spirit that is telling you that you will soon die. Every spirit that is telling you that it cannot be well with you. I want you to know that it's not from God. Because anytime the devil is showing you things that makes you afraid, things that makes it, uh, make you feel as if there is no future for you. You know what he's doing? He's working on your mind in order to get you stagnated. Say I refuse to be stagnated. I don't know whether the can remember now. 
when you were pregnant, was it not, I think it was of pregnancy of Elo that you went to UCH and one prophet. Can you still remember? Maybe you have forgotten. Now she came back from UCA daddy and was she ran straight to the church. Pastor, Pastor, I said, What happened? He said the prophet was just passing beside my car and he stopped and said, Ah, Arabiri, Ari, Kuniwajui. Oh, le mari. But alone la share. Oh, le mari, Ari, Kuniwajui. Now, see about my mui, Kuro, Elo, Emar. You know, the, the man listed so many things that she was going to buy. And when she told me, I didn't see anything. She said, sir, what do you see? I say, I see life. It is what you have chosen to see that you will see. Say, I refuse to be limited. Now, when the devil wants to intimidate you, that's the first thing. He will make a Goliath to stand in front of you. I wrote here in my note. He will make a Goliath to stand in front of you. And one thing is the aim of the devil. Impossibility. He wants you to see life as impossible. He wants you to see success as impossible. He wants you to see progress as impossible. I have seen people that have told me that, sir, 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 it's like this, my marriage will not work. I have seen people that have told me that, sir, it's like I don't think I can progress. That is not what God has for you, his children. The Bible says the path of the justice has a shining light. How does he shine? How does he shine? Ah, hey, my Bible. How does he shine? brighter and brighter. So every time there's a Goliath situation in front of you, understand that, hear me, the devil wants you to think impossible. That's what he wants you to think. Kosheshe. Will I ever finish this program? Kosheshe. Ah, I don't have anybody that will sponsor me. That's what the devil is showing you. Anytime you see a Goliath condition, and do you know that for 40 days, Goliath was coming out two times a day for 40 days. That means it came out 80 times. Is there nobody? He will show his coat. He will show his sword. Is there nobody? And everybody was dodging. Hey, face man, yo. Agbokwe champion, Ah, nobody can face him. Oh, ah, look at his coat. Look at his javelin. Look at his armor. That's what they were looking at. But when one David had the courage to step out and Two only a stone. Do you know what is required for you to, en to, 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 to enjoy expansion this year? Courage to step out. And one of the reasons why some of you don't have the courage to step out is because you are still paying too much attention on that Goliath. What is that Goliath standing in front of you? Satanic intimidation. Hallelujah. I wrote here again. Every time you are faced with a Goliath, a Goliath kind of challenge on your way to fulfilling God's giving dream, understand that the devil wants you to back out. Anytime you are faced by a, a, a Goliath challenge on your way to fulfilling God's purpose, the devil wants you to back out. That's what the devil wants. But listen, this year make up your mind. That everything God puts in your heart, you will pursue it. Make up your mind. Now, the moment you pursue, only the, the only thing that will bring down that Goliath is not false. It's just an instruction from God that you are going to uh, follow. Hallelujah. Let me go back to my note. I wrote here, stop looking at the Goliath in front of you. If you don't want to be discouraged. If you don't want to fall out of the purpose of God for your life. Stop looking at the Goliath in front of you. Can you imagine when Israel was dancing out of the land of Egypt? In one do, ah, at the Egypt is there. Oluwa sheu ile ton shon funwara ati oyin ibe la lo. Oluwa sheu o, Oluwa sheu o. They were happy. They were singing and dancing. All of a sudden, they got to a point. They met the Red Sea. Now the Red Sea, listen, and listen well. It's a sea. It's not a stream. The Red Sea is a sea. It's not a river. A sea, when you stand in front of the sea, you don't see the other side. You look at the sea to the right, you don't see the end. You look at the sea to the left, you don't see the end. You look across, you can't find it. Now, listen, it's, it's what I call a situation that it is clear that we are stopping here. But when God was involved, God is involved in your journey this year. That's why, don't joke with your relationship. Don't joke with your relationship. 
Iwa ati Olorun sere ko siru nkan to le wa nwaju e to ni bori Let them say anything What divided the Red Sea An ordinary staff Bi wa hala yen se po so that's why I always tell people big challenge don't need big solution I come again. Big challenge does not need what? Does not need big solution. At times, see, no matter how big that challenge is, what will solve it is small. That's why you see that as big as a sheep is on the sea, what controls it is very small. Stop seeing impossibility. Our senators decided they made a new law. They've passed it quickly. They have approved it now. They've it has gone through all the hearings. They have announced it. Why? They One thing that has not been happening in Nigeria before has started happening. Suicide. People are now killing themselves. They now pass it as a law now. That if you try to kill yourself and you fail, you will be jailed 15 years. It's now a new law in Nigeria. They open but the question there is, why should people think to the point of going to kill themselves? I will show you cases. Now, look at when Israel finished crossing, crossing the Red Sea. They were happy and they were dancing. They were crossing, they've crossed the Red Sea. After they crossed, so they were dancing. They walked for some miles and they discovered they were thirsty. Life is programmed to be full of challenges. If anybody is lying to you, that life is programmed to be rosy like express wheat, that person is lying. Life is programmed to be full of challenges. And listen, it is challenges that makes us strong. It is challenges that makes us wise. Be you see challenge, ah, like more. These are the people that just dance. Ah, we are rejoicing that Jesus conquers Satan. Article article the all of a sudden, you're full to best. You're not going to do it. You're not Ah, yes. All around that, you All around that, that, They put their mouth. It was bitter water. And the Bible says they started talking to Moses and saying to Moses, Is it because we do not have water to drink in Egypt? Ah, ah, we are finished. Let us go back. Don't ever think of going back. Anytime the devil raises a challenge, he wants to intimidate you, he wants to keep you in fear. And like I said in the first service, if you become intimidated, you won't want to try new things again. You will always be thinking of what people will say if you fail. So while they were crying, Moses was a progressive man. A man always thinking of what is the way forward. Lord, what is the way forward? God says, see, as bitter as this river is, see, I have put a wood beside it. Take that wood. Oh, I like bear. You see no the Bible says he took the wood, put it inside the river, it became sweet. Eh? And people say, eh? So as big as this river, small wood, low mass of problem here. Yeah? When you think imposs uh, 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 impossible, you won't find solution. And that's what the devil wants you to be thinking. Kushishi, mili meke, mili dewe, ali bimo, ali ga, ali mari, ali tobi, ali she. That's what the devil wants you to be thinking. But make up your mind. That you will not allow the devil of intimidation to stop you anymore. See, I refuse to be stopped. Say it like somebody have the understanding. Shout it aloud better. I refuse to be stopped. So to summarize my first point. To conquer the devil of intimidation. Hear me. Hear me. You need to be courageous enough to do whatsoever God has placed in your mind. Anything God places in your mind, don't be afraid to do it. Even if there is nobody supporting you. See, can I tell you this truth from experience? Anything God says you should do, at first, you won't get supporters. It is when you continue to move. And they say, ah, Uma ten lo. Uma dave kun lo. Uma jokun lo. Kuma pada. Che de shwok. Eja wo diesi. Number two. When the devil wants to intimidate you, look at number two. He at times steer up discouragers 
to discredit your work so that you be, you so that you quit he at times steers up discouragers to discredit your work so that you will quit that's another thing the devil does it's more mission on here open your eyes he steers up discouragers kilon shegon who are discouragers discouragers don't know what you are doing they don't know how much effort you are putting into what you are doing but they will begin to criticize your work. You know why they are criticizing your work? They want you to quit. Now, how do I know this? Go to Nehemiah chapter 4. Let's read from verse 1 to verse 4. Nehemiah chapter 4. From verse 1 to verse 4. Discouragers can even come in marriage. It could be your spouse. What kind of it? Are you a, imagine your wife asking the husband, are you a husband or I don't even understand whether you are a husband. Now ask her, have you played the role of a husband before? No, you ask her, you that you are saying you don't understand whether I'm, have you played the role of a husband before? Or the wife is the husband, the husband is, I don't even know the kind of wife you are. Ask him to. But uh, Any role you cannot play, don't criticize the person playing it. Now, let's read. Where's the Now, look at verse 4. From verse 1, sorry. But it so happened, when Sambalat heard that we were what? Rebuilding the wall, that he was furious and very indignant and mocked the Jews. Now, he saw that we are building. Verse 2, let's read. We are stopping at verse 4. There's no time. Verse 2. Ah. And he spoke before his brethren and the army of Syria and said, what, Samaria, what, what did he say? What are these feeble Jews doing? Will they fortify themselves? Will they offer sacrifices? Will they complete it in a day? Will they revive the stones from the heaps of the rubbish? rubbish? Stones that are burned? Now, several questions. Now, Tobiah the Ammonite was beside him and he said, Whatsoever they build, if even a fox go on, uh, go on, uh, sorry, go up on it, he will do. Uh, he will break. They are not building. Uh. Have you noticed? It is people that cannot do what you are doing that will criticize you. That's why you see anybody that is doing more than you cannot look back and criticize what you are doing. It is people that have not done what you are doing. That's why I see strengthen your mind. They will speak against you. I want you to know that. Kinon Shegon. Kinon Ta. Kinon Ko. Now, anytime they come to speak against you, they want to create fear in you. They want to intimidate. I remember when me and my wife got married. Ah, we were young. I was 25. I think 25, 26. She was 23. And that time I was so slim. So slim, if I'm slimmer than I am now. You know, I've been fasting since January. I'll, I'll, I'll finish in March. That's why you see that I'm still slim now. But I was still slimmer than this. And the man that, to spoil it, my best man that bought my suit for me, did not know my size. So he brought my suit from Portacot. I wore the suit. It was my ears that was, that the suit now made to manifest. And people were talking. Ewa umo kekeke. Ewa umo kekeke. One lot no marriage. Kinam on marriage. What do they know about me? this? They were saying all kinds of rubbish. Now you know why they were they were saying all these things to create the fear in us, so that we'll be thinking we'll fail. But this is twenty years. By the grace of God, for twenty years we have not called anybody under the sun to sit me and my wife down, even my mentor. Ah, for 20 years. And you are now listening to what people are saying. They say you cannot make it. You too, you are afraid. They say I cannot make it. Because they say I cannot make it. Ah, I don't know whether I can make it. Because of it, you are afraid. Ah, you, ah, it cannot be somebody like, they told me, it cannot be somebody like you that God be used. How old was I when God called me? I was six, 17 years. I gave my life to Christ at 16. 17, I received a call into ministry. Now, and remember, I got married at 26. I was slim. At 17, you think of how we be. One man of God saw me that time. He said, I don't know whether to call you boy of God or man of God. 
Boy of God, how are you? And one and another reverend said, Ah, this young boy going to start church, you will get all these ladies pregnant. All the ladies will be getting pregnant. Now, by the grace of God, to the glory of God, this is 23 years. The Christian testimony is still standing. You will not fail. Listen, don't allow the voice of discouragers to stop you. They will try to discourage. Ah, Who told you? Are people not progressing in the battle? Answer me now. They are prospering. Companies are relocating from Lagos to Ibadan. And they are doing well. Suma employs, we counted that day. They said about 3,000 per, uh, per, per, they said 3,000 per, per, per year. Is it, is it counting correct? And they have year one, year two, year three. Answer me now, Dickie. Year what? Sir? The whole total staff. 16,000 people. Where? In Ibadan. Suma is not in Abuja. Brother King says 16,000. You will get there. My own staff now is 23. We pay 23, 23 people salary every month. I've not gotten there. I've not got, I, I don't, we are far. Bishop Oide could pay 35,000 people's salary every month. So if they want to do staff convention, imagine. Their staff is more than a mega church. Every month, when we are right, we write checks. We don't, we don't struggle to pay 20. We have, we have 23. My vision is 300. Say amen for me now. Amen. I know that after the service, I've given some of you words to go and say, Ah, I want to do this very well. I want to be on the Makuba. Pastor Masalo Beini. You must expect that the devil will criticize what you are doing. Expect it. If you don't expect it, you will not know how to manage it. Everybody can never agree with what you are doing. Kusheshe. We have stars in a level. We have stars in liberty. We have stars everywhere. I am still working more. Lord, Lord, we are still working more. To buy at you, basic men to conceal it. Loani, and don't you and call gun? Can I pay for the senior bar? Call Locoloba, Losuria. Me the shock, you call Locoloni wait. She call Locoloba gun, you wouldn't. A month of a shame of a booming rewesi. Become where you are to your coin, a party away, a packing it. You know, she used to face. At, there was a day we finished service. My daughter has called me that day. I said, What happened? If you see how people were looking at a post wife as she was coming, they were Aina. They were Aina. So I want to go and talk to them. I said, You don't need to fight for her. Your mommy too have gone through it. Let her go through it. You know, people used to mock pastor's wife. There was a day she had to tell me, say, Papa, I will not be coming to the headquarters church again. Why? He said, there are some people in church when I'm coming, they will look at me from head to toe. They will size me. And I told her, I said, see, it's good. Let them size you. So that when God is set to lift you. So if you don't know what pastor's wife is going through, hey, mom, what do you pastor go through? In those days, my wife used to cry until I told her, you have to succeed and mix them. Because the Bible says, I prepared a table for you in the presence. You have to grow to understand criti criticism. Not understand. Go to manage it. 
I will teach you how to manage it now. That business you are just starting, you think people will not speak? They will talk. You did not call by, not to share by. I'm alone there for my jambe. When you, I remember when we started working, some people say, ah, "Emma, the school one." Somebody go and say, ah, "Emma, lost school. Emma, lost school. Yeah, flower. You want to see what you want? Come on, one flower. Yeah, pali la de fiche." We were thinking, she cut on your, I want class of people meet standard diwa. Be courageous enough to pursue the purpose of God. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. We are stopping at verse four. That even if a fox go on it. Something that you cannot do on your own. Even if a fox go on it, let's go. Tobiah the Ammonite was beside him and he said, whatever they build, even if a fox goes on it, he will break down their stone walls. Verse 4. Hear, O God, can you see? I love Nehemiah. See, it is stupidity for you to be going to fight the people criticizing you. I call it a sheer waste of energy. That energy you are supposed to use to fight them, put it in your success bag and use it to succeed more. The best thing to silence the critics is result. I speak to you, this year you will expand. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. So your times steers discouragers to discredit your work so that you will quit. They will look at your wife and tell you, ah ah, King Baolo she was sorry by tea away was sorry. Oh, told you a mobi ring you. I can yell. I can yell. A Danny can yell. If you are, if you listen, you get frustrated. King Mutuma Shibai. You might even go home and decide to say, okay, dear, I bought ice cream. I bought egg. You must eat this egg, you. Like I did to my son that time. We took him to Oni and son. And they say, ah ah, Baolo she was the bail over ye. Ah, no, 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 no. Yah, yah, she me. They started abusing my wife. So those days, I will get home. I will fry like five eggs. Oriola, you must eat. When the boy is satisfied, he's satisfied. I say eat this egg so that you can grow fat. Daddy, I don't want. I say you must eat. Quickly, let me show you. Four ways to undo critics. Four ways to undo critics. Four ways to undo critics. Don't forget that critics are fault finders. Four ways by which you can undo them. And don't forget this one. Before I tell you the four ways, they want you to lose focus. So don't, you must learn how to manage them. Number one, number one, number one, some of them want your attention so that they will be part of your testimony. Please don't allow them. What some of them is looking for is how to be part of what you are doing. They know that they do, there is no how they can come in, so they want your attention. They will now begin to say things that will make you to look towards them and say, okay, what do you have to offer me? Don't make that mistake of bringing your critics to become part of what you are doing. I, am I communicating? If you know that somebody is your critics, don't make them your best friend. All some of them is looking for is attention. They want to have a part in what you are doing. They want to use criticism to come into your business. They want to use criticism to come into your life. And what is their ultimate goal? They want to destroy it. They want to destroy it. They want to destroy the relationship between you and your wife that they themselves cherish, but they cannot share it. They want to destroy the company you are building. So they, be, they begin to criticize you because they want your attention. Please don't give them your attention. Number two. Some criticize you because they want you to lose focus and stop what you are doing because they are afraid of where you are going. Ah, bibo boy shen lo yi e je ka fi criticism ka fi distracted. Let me come again because of those of you right then. Some want to use where am I? Some criticize you, sorry, in order to make you lose focus. Some want you to lose focus. Um, so that you can stop what you are doing. Because they are afraid of the way and where you are going. They are afraid. The way this guy is going. How do we gain his attention? Let's begin to speak against him. 
let's begin to speak against her. Ah, so that they can, they can lose focus. If you listen too much to the critics, you will lose the focus to where you are going. Kino song for church, it's not like the boy. They say so many things. Some of them are still saying, Hey, ni church, you're walking bad. Hey, Johnny, come on. Hey, you're going to come on. Hey, they said so many things. It got to a point I wanted to be confused. I we ask, are we not praying? We are praying. Our people not prospering. What is the essence of prayer if there is no results? Imagine somebody goes to the mountain. He said he went to spend one year on the mountain. You come back from the mountain. You are coming down back to beg for food, money for food from me. Uluani King Babel do come. Mukpari awe yeh. Me wari in kontima fi break. Me alone wani king ma bolodo. Lara wantu ni a king badwa. Beladwa rangpeta wanda. Ampa kimoto sita. Adwa rangpeta wanda. Awo bini wan bimo. Adwa rangpeta wanda. Awo kuni wan niya wo. One day, we are progressing. That was when I discovered that these people want to distract me. So don't lose your focus because of your critics. Am I communicating? Face what you are doing. They will come to you and tell you if your business place is too fine, you will not attract some people. If it is not too fine, you will, you will lose some people. Face where you are going. Number three, I remember when they dis discouraged one of our women. Ah, mama wa la inti po juo, eti dagba o, ah, ele ma se wa mo o. She herself now changed her focus and she started selling provision. She will open her shop in the morning and close it at night. One tank on con. So one of these is I visited her. Mommy, kilo in shele. One thing what depressed, brother. Depression don't come out of. Oba ni ya, onisa. Money number one, be 13 tap provision. You won't need the provision like the boy. One day. Hey, you mock about talking, show your bunny. I won't become what I tell you, tap provision. Oh, go me, what I love me in Jackie, show me issue. Oh, go pay, or that to be, if you talk be lawyer, one need there. Oh, be a junction, junction. Ah, uh, if you want to enter a level, if you go through. Tes, that the slim side that corner e wa ni mama yen ta la lati day 1 e wo e de mo ke elebu site area ni gbogbo brick le aye yi ibe na tin je o agbada ti mama yen fi ntewa to ba ti bere bayi ni 7 ko to di 9:30 won ti fo o ti tewa tan gbogbo brick le a to fe lo sise ninu site won ti won ti ma re wa sinu lai lon Imagine ko wa gbegba fried rice lo ru be ati salad fried rice and salad kan ni ogun esu ogun esu ogun esu ogun esu it is not ogun esu they don't need salad there yesterday when we went to buy some and we were coming back where i park waiting for you they were telling that mama ki lo sele ti fufu yin ti ya sare tan mama e ni ko ye won na ko ma iti ro tan bayi Hey, anyone? Hey, she may run it ten thousand. Mula, mama kono ro. If you don't sing ro, ni wajua ika so ni je fufumbe. But if you talk bewa, fufuzo ni yes. Ma yani oni ko unsai lola ngon ko unpada de wanti kota. Ema ja fi message ju asile. The critics wants to distract you. So anytime they are, they are criticizing you, they want you to what? Lose focus. They may tell you you are too loyal to your husband. Oh, so you are, you are telling your husband everything. Eh? You are to, they want you to lose focus. Now ah, you are too serious. You are always waking up in the morning, going to work. Ah, ah. Number three. Number three. Are you, are you here? Listen, some of these critics want to use you to gain recognition. Some of them don't want anything. They only want to use you to, be, to become popular. Listen, 
All this one I'm preaching since morning, some people are not watching online. If I go online now and begin to criticize Bishop Oedeko, I say, I, I, I make a post. Next week Sunday, I will tell you 21 reasons why Bishop Oedeko is fake. You will see that I will have over 1 million followers. People want to know when something is wrong than when something is good. And if Bishop Oedeko should make one mistake to say, I hear that there is one pastor, Prince Willa Folabi, that is criticizing me online, all members of winners will subscribe. That was a mistake of Tokpe Alabi that made Yinka Lashe Yori to blow. Some people didn't know Yinka Lashe Yori before. But when Tokpe Alabi said, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. find out. Don't let the critics use you to blow. Don't give them attention. respond. You know what I'm teaching you this? You are going to become very great. I can't see the amen of those that want to become great. And when you become great, some of them will want to use you to rise. Because some of you cannot bear it. When you hear people speak against you, you want to defend yourself. If you are trying to defend yourself, you are trying to give them recognition. Lastly, under it. We're looking at the fourth way to handle critics. Some just want where am I? To make you feel that you have wasted your time. They want to create a negative feeling in you. To make you feel bad. That's why they are criticizing your work. So you now be saying, have I not wasted my time? Have I not wasted my resources? Am I not in the wrong relationship? Have I not been doing... Listen. In the summary of it, the best way to handle critics, hear me, is for you to succeed more. For you to stay more focused. Be more focused. Be more focused. Now, this thought I want to tell you, I will tell you quickly because of time. This one too will shock you. When the devil wants to get you intimidated, hear me. Hear me. The devil at times steers people up. Steers people up to magnify your area of disability. Do you know that at times the devil does that? To make you feel not qualified. Somebody somewhere will just arise. Otimari Rio. Somebody will just arise. Otibi Moko outside wedlock Rio. Somebody will just arise. Emma Dalun Kokawe. Just like I told them in the first service. Listen. Listen and listen well. When God wants to use anybody for anything, he does not consider your disability. Whether you are fluent in English or not, when God is set to lift up anyone, he does not look at your area of incompetence. He just magnifies you. I will show you two scriptures as I summarize. The first one, Romans chapter 9, 15 and 16. The second one, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11. Now look at Romans. For he says to Moses, God is saying to Moses, I will have mercy on whom, who, who, whomever I have. I will have mercy. Now, to understand this scripture clearly, can we give us the message Bible? Message translation. Thank you. 15. 15. God told Moses, 
Let's read it together. One, two, and let's go. I'm in charge of mercy. I'm in charge of compassion. Verse 16. Compassion doesn't originate in our bleeding hearts or moral sweat. But in what? <laughs> you know what that scripture is saying? Not unto him that will it, not unto him that run it, but unto God that showed mercy. He shed when it was sire. He did she went to. Okay. You know. You know. You know. That's how he works. That's why. You see the people that God have lifted, go and search through. Up to today, they have not seen Buhari's certificate. <laughs> but he's the president. When mercy speaks, eh, your disability is not important. I pray in the name of Jesus. This year, mercy will speak for you. So, even when they bring out your disability, don't deny. It's true. Don't let that intimidate you. Because some of you are afraid. Uh, what of you they eventually know? That I made ever see. Let them know. There are some things that happen to people that they themselves cannot explain. I can tell you the truth. That's why I don't judge people again. They say, ah, he, 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 bring out your qualification. Uh, don't mind him. Oh. Am I dalo? Am I dalo? People will say anything. When the devil wants to intimidate you, he magnifies your fault. He magnifies your fault. At least some people are the ones now coming out, campaigning Oshibajo for president. Some people are the ones doing it. I'm not prophesying you. Don't say, Pastor, say, it could be like play, like play. The man can become president. Don't let your area of disability make you to feel incompetent. When God is in control, anything can happen. Now look at when he chose Moses. Moses, I want you to go and become my servant. What did Moses say? He said, Lord, I'm a star mara. My former Miguel, he came back to me. He was begging. So he called me on phone yesterday. I said, hello. Boop, 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 boop. Thank God is the one that called me. Boop, boop. I said, John, cool down, cool down, cool down. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Mama was asking what happened. Cool down. After like two minutes still. I said, make I ask you, say. Ah, I said I'll go call you back. <laughs> that was Moses. But God chose him. Moses now said to God, but my brother Aaron can speak well. But God said, it's you I chose. I can agree because you have chosen Aaron. He can be your spokesman. You that I chose. Carry your own walking walk and walk. That's why some of you, you can't do some things that God has placed in your heart because you are still looking at the area of your life that you are not competent. When I stood at, on the platform where I went to preach, I went to preach in a university. And I was told to address the man that owns the university. I acknowledged him. I read, his wife was present. I was the hotel they gave me. 
As I enter the hotel, eh, Mushikoko Wali, Mulokule, Mutikubuleku. Lord, thank you that I am your servant. Eh, this kind of honor. Bonto Kondominiki, Mufast de Ben. Mudek Bodu, fast in the match. So, go and get some of in law, me, 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 chill. I'm fasting. Sir, so, order anything, ah. Ekwe, me sit down, timba, party fasting. When they ask for my profile, they said, in such places, you don't preach without a profile. When the chaplain came up, he said, we are bringing up the man of God from Ibadan. When he finished his secondary school, he went straight to theological institution. About an institution, college. Ah, it's true. Gospel Divinity Institution, where he obtained this. I don't, I don't know where they saw what they were. <laughs> but I was glad that, Lord, you could bring me this far. And all of them were screaming, ah, ah, he has to come again. He has to come again. He has to come again. So the chaplain said, committee, can you hear? We have to put up another program for him to come. I look up to God. Our son that was that took, that brought the connection that took me there says, "Sir, I want you to come and dedicate my house. I'll be moving in by next week." I got there. This is my father. This is my father. This is my father. This is my father. Don't hide yourself. Because of your disability again. Are you hearing me? You can't speak English well. That's how God will use you. Prophet Abiola Debisi. Of a very mighty church. CMCM. I love that man of God so much. In Lagos. He preached one day. Got to a point. Ah, he said, am I your English teacher? Ero church in one limb five thousand. All on to the lecture I let you be anointing the lori. Eminiko lofo go reulua ah, ma okuta rock for me oh, oh, bow. Don't allow the devil limit you again. Are you hearing me? Don't allow it. Don't allow it. And don't deny. When they show you your disability, don't be afraid to say, it's true. It's true. Just like that day that the witch, a, a woman came to my office. I didn't know that the message they play on radio for me that day. I said it in the studio. Hey, what about JRJ? If you are a witch, you are hearing me. On radio right now, and you want to be delivered, come and see me in the office. Amy would take message and we really enjoy it. You know, we used to do 13 weeks recording, we now go and give them. At that time, Pastor Smart was still my secretary. I know Pastor Smart is like Brother Benga, they don't know sign. If you do like this, they will be coming to you. You know, there are people like that. If they hold mic and you say, I'm a mumbo. You know, you'll be past us, my not sharing here. So, one thing sign bounce up. As the woman came in, she sat down, and in our office law, you don't close the door behind the woman with a pastor in the office. So, as Pastor Smart put the woman, took the woman, show her where to sit, he was going, out, I gave him sign to understand that the door must be open. He closed the door. The woman had not spoken that time. And the woman now said, are you Pastor Prince Will? I said, yes, ma. He said, I listened to your message on radio yesterday. I said, okay, that's nice. And you said in your message that anyone that is a witch, what thing is you back Any kenny to buy jay a jay, to defe fie gbe a jay sile, kuwa rey, 
mon ni oke mi gbo message en so mi le so pe yes mi le so pe no mo kan ni oke o ni mo ti de se ri mo ti de yen aya mi se bi 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 you know ati n gbo aje ati n wo won ninu film mi ri won ri ni physical a ri won ninu ala so mo ti de yen da bi gba ti won e ko e pelu speaker da 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 ah mo koko wo ilekun o wa ntiti mo woju window Muroki, woman, you know what you are woke. A routine baba by one is she any let them out to me, silly. He bend the boy, I meet you. Muni me call Muni and it don't be no me. Uluma to insulate Eddie Dema Bushy Diddy Muni or who called Jesu Emia Jetu Emia Jetu one called Jade. The body be my son. Bah! On the floor. Who be best me? Who be best me? Who be best me? And the devil also sent that to me. Bo shengi, lo shi bo bo. Ara. Pastor Smart. Ah. Can you imagine that be deliverance, Lord? No, I can't. And funny enough, before I came back, she had put the dress down. And I prayed for her. After praying for her, she now told me that she's an elder in Christ Apostolic Church. She mentioned the branch where Baba Biara is. You know what I now what touched me? How will God use me for this woman? Maybe she on Baba Galagawa. Don't be intimidated again. Are you hearing me? Anything. To so get gift or talents to Bani. Can you be 20 ke your contest? If you can't win your big jeep, you will be a big jeep. You will be a big Victory is not determined by how many. Do you remember that case of Jonathan? That him and his servant. And they had about 50 Philistines. And he told his servant, what do we do? The servant said, we are afraid, we are just two. He said, victory is not determined by either how many or how, many, how, how few. Don't be, please, that's what God says I should teach you today. Conquer intimidation. Hello, me, be to your care, law, care, to the contract, but, hey, the law, to the care, believe, care, the motto. Ah, you me, come on, one day. It's not someone like me they are looking for. When I didn't have car, that I used to chat at Bolad, was my Okada man. That was when I went, we went to invite Reverend Shola of Vine Branch Christian Center. I uh, spoke with him. We talked about it. And he said, okay, Pastor, I will, I will consider your date. He said, can I see you off to the car? Ah, ah. My heart started beating. If this man follow me outside, he won't come for ministration again. I said, no, don't bother, sir. Don't worry, sir. Sir, you can, don't worry. I don't want to trouble you. No, no, no. Let me see you off to your car. I said, sir, don't bother, sir. Don't worry. I was getting... He said, pastor, man of God, let me see you off to your car. <laughs> I just have some courage. As I got outside, I just... But lad! He just came with the bag. With a good year. We came back. You know when Reverend Shaladi now came to our church... He said, I love your pastor for one thing. For his courage. He came to my office riding on a bike. He was not even afraid to come and invite me. Anything that God placed in your heart. I'm talking to you now. I'm running off. Anything God placed in your heart, don't be afraid to pursue it again. Some big Goliath can be brought down by an ordinary stone. Stop thinking that that big Goliath will cause you big fight. Some Red Sea can be divided by an ordinary rod staff. Some bitter river can be turned to sweetness by a small wood. Rise up on your feet. Are you blessed this morning? Do you have your courage back? Yes. No matter where your, what your condition is, just believe God. He will intervene for you.